Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hi. Today in my bench I have this MA-1240E. It's a Sure. It's also a 40 ampere charger. These kind of chargers, they came in a different models. The first model has a, uh, a transformer, a load cut off transformer. And the late models, they don't have this kind of transform, uh, transformer in the circuit. This uh, charger came to me and have a very serious problem in the current control knob. This knob is designed to control the, the amperage, the charging amperage. So in order where uh, you put the indicator of the knob, you will get the current that it is suitable for your battery. So in this direction, you will get the blue one, you will charge from 60 ampere and lower, the green one from 100 to 160 ampere batteries and uh, the yellow, you will charge the 200 ampere and higher batteries. Usually this kind of problem uh, happens when the uh, uh, knob or the uh, variable resistor uh, become the pins become there is a problem in the uh, VR resistor and a problem in the IC the TL 494 the SMD1 and this is a common problem in all of these chargers because it is a, an SMD and uh, SMD it is no uh, notorious to have a lower uh, tolerance to high voltages than the normal one now I'm going to open the the cover and remove the four screw from this side the two screw from this side and the two from this side and remove the cover and take a look in the inside this is the inside of the charger and if we zoom in a little bit you will see a lot of dirt and this dirt it's like soap and water to these kind of uh, uh, SMD or surface mount parts as you can see it is very similar to the uh, 20 ampere the black one type but it is it have the capability of more current because this have a, a bigger transformer super transformer and even much more rectifier diode in the 20 ampere you will find two and in this model you will find four because this side will give 40 ampere and this side will give 40 ampere and this is the 20 ampere uh, transistors and this is the VR resistor that I was talking about this is a 2k so it is very delicate now if we zoom in a little bit you will see the dust and this is as I said it is very very dangerous and to this kind of devices look at the way that the dust uh, cover the pins of the photocopular look at it wow this is filthy so what I'm going to do I'm going to hook it up to the power and measure if there is uh, a uh, uh, current control for this knob when you turn this knob to the end you should not get any any current 
flow you will get a voltage but you will get uh, get no uh, current through the the leads whatsoever now i'm going to pause this and bring my uh, trusty uh, halogen lamp and test this charger so here we go i connected the leads of the halogen lamp one lead is for the positive and the next one is for the uh, I'm going to hook it to this area over here across the uh, the nichrome wires that present a shunt resistor because this is where the negative it is connected and I already connected an AC and let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the big image first of all I'm going to test if there is a voltage okay let me just put in the alligator clips and this is the my VOM it is set to 50 50 volt scale and I'm going to turn on the switch nothing blow up that's a good sign and the LED LED it is lighting up now we are going to probe and see and we are getting roughly 14 13 point two volts let's try to connect a load and see as I said earlier I'm going to turn down the uh, VR resistance to the minimum there, there should not be any current flow to the uh, to the lamp Oh my god, so the IC and the uh, VR register are gone. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to turn off the power, unplug it, and then I'm going to clean, clean it up with a blower and then disassemble the entire thing and see and test the VR and the component the surface mount component and the other side of the circuit and here is the board it has been taken out of the enclosure as you can see I cleaned up with the blower it's much more cleaner now <coughs> this is the IC in question the TL the SMD TL 400 94 C or Z whatever and they use the equivalent KA 7500 this board it's very very clean so it is a new charger and now I'm going to test the VR if it is working or not and replace the IC because this uh, kind of damage only and this kind of fault only happens when the either the IC fails or the uh, VR resistor fail or one of them fails so I'm going to pause this video and do some t uh, this test of camera and I will be back here you go I disconnected the uh, the plug that connect to the VR resistor and I uh, measure the VR re resistor and it is working fine uh, I replace the IC the TL 494 this is the old one and this is the new one as you can see if I zoom in a little bit and I solder it and now 
I am ready to power it up and let's see how it will how it will work okay the LED is lighting up this is a good sign let me just this is the uh, the positive rail as we can see there is a spark that this means there is a present voltage and let's see the lamp the halogen lamp if it is going to light up or not perfect so this device is, uh, is now fixed I'm going to check few voltages and then I'm going to plug this plug into place and assemble the entire device because this device is now fixed so here is the charger has been assembled and if I zoom in a little bit I put some new thermal paste between the transistor and the silicon isolation in order so they can transfer the heat very well and this is my trusty 100 ampere battery and now I already pl plug it in to the uh, AC grid and I'm going to flip the switch okay me it is working fine let me check the charging voltage this is one lead and this is the other the charging voltage it is about 14 volt and it is more than adequate let's see the amperage and the amperage it is about 10 ampere so I'm going to let it run for a while and then check it before I close up I close up the hood after a while of charging the battery it is now the battery full and by doing so this bat this charger is now fixed and I'm going to close the hood of the enclosure and this charger is ready to go thank you for watching see you next time